What's happening, man? It's your boy Papa Duck, man. You already know the day is Halloween, a pagan satanic holiday, which is fucking crazy to me because not only do they celebrate this shit throughout the Western world, but they also celebrate it in school. No one says or does anything about this bullshit. I just common sense is on coming so um no more. You know what I'm saying? Not only that, right? They got after school programs I've done videos on about this group or a satanic group that has an after school program with children teaching them the satanic ways. As you can see, California Elementary School, along with a couple of other states, are allowing the after school Satan club. Listen, I wanted to put the video up, but I ain't want them to mess with this video. But you can go Google the after school Satan club and see for yourself that these people are doing this right in front of our faces. I want to know what these Christians got to say about this. Back to the video. This is facts. This shit's all over the news and everything. But like I say, they put it right in front of our faces and we do nothing about it. Now, let's speak about Halloween. If you knew anything, and, and I'm going to say this, the, the, you know, when you talk about witches, warlocks, sorcerers, and uh, different things like that, this shit is real. You got people that really worship this stuff. Thousands by the thousands. Okay? Maybe people that work with you. Maybe stay close to you. Go to school with you. Whatever the case may be, you have to understand, this shit is real. These people really do worship the dark side. Now, also, I want you to understand this, too. Back in the days, in the Roman times, you know what I'm saying, they forced Christianity on people. And if you did not believe in Christianity, your ass sometimes would be killed, persecuted. You know, when they with the Olympias, when they put you out there and, get, and see you get ripped up by the tigers and bears while the emperor sit his funky ass up there and watch this and the people are entertained by seeing you getting killed all because you didn't believe and what they was forcing on you, which was Christianity. Man, you can look this up, bro. You can look all this up. When Christopher Columbus came to America and claimed he found some, which was some bullshit. But anyway, he was um he was protected by what they call a papal bull. I keep telling y'all, go look at what a papal bull is. This is when the Pope says, hey, it's okay to go and develop and discover these new areas, and it's okay for you to steal, take, pillage subjugate and more importantly convert to christianity hmm so i know this ain't got much a lot to do with halloween but let me just tie it all together back in the days before they started saying witches was evil witches was considered healers and helpers yo let me chime in for one second right this is equivalent to the same thing that they did to dr Sabi. no he ain't no witch but he definitely was a healer and a helper to the black community and to the people of the world. Why? Because he used natural herbs and different plants to help us heal in different ways that they wasn't going to do this. And this is equivalent to what Romans did to witches that was considered helpers and healers back then. They interfered with them and their agenda by converting everybody to Christians so they had to get rid of them. And they came with these witch hunts. Like I say, a lot of them was killed. Same thing they did to Dr. Savior. He got in the way of Big Pharma and cutting it to their money, so they had to dispose him the same way. Rest in peace to Dr. Sabin, because if it weren't for him, we would never know that mucus was the only sickness that we have in the body. Dr. Sabin learned us and taught us that, okay? So double salute to Dr. Sabin, rest in peace. I just want to chime in on the video and tell y'all that's equivalent to what they're doing today. Nothing has changed back to the video a lot of people don't know that because they feed us what they want to feed us now i'm not saying there's some wicked witches out there i'm not saying that but no everything has a positive and a negative let's get that out of the way so everything that is good for you can also be bad for you so don't always look at shit as a monolithic way or you know this is a this is a this is a duality world which is two and the child made the trinity so for everything that's bad it can also be for good. But anyway, they was considered healers and helpers. And once they started enforcing Christianity on people, they were saying that the witches was getting in the way of that by helping people and healing people through um, herbs, potions, and concocting stuff to help people from a medical standpoint, healing them on other levels. That got in the way of them converting people into Christians. So guess what? This is where the witch hunts come in at. The witch hunts, where they was hunting witches, killing them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, some of the brutalish. They let you know these are some barbaric ass people. They don't have no soul. 
They don't have no soul. This is this is what this is what the Egyptians call Ba. When you see them on the uh, in the hieroglyphics with the whole center cut out, that means they don't have no soul. These are some of the most barbaric, nastiest motherfuckers in the world. They don't care. They they and that's what I say. You got to know your real history, bro. At the end of the day, these people would catch these. You know, if you was dealing in any type of witchcraft or you was doing this considered back then, you know, um, you was killed, you was hunted, you was burned. Um, I, I saw what well, one of them. It was a story where this um, this guy was put into this like a like, no, he was laid flat flat down on his stomach, and they put a board on him. And they kept putting heavy bricks on him until he suffocated. Like he just kept going in and suffocating these heavy bricks till he died. They was doing shit like that, burning people alive. But fast forward to the day, you know, through Hollywood and all these other different things, they've taught us that all this shit, anything dealing with witchcraft, anything dealing with voodoo and everything dealing with this and that voodoo, was evil stuff. That's what they teach us to this day. But like I say, you got people who do these things for, for good reasons, for protection and shit like that. Not all people that do these things or for bad that's all i'm saying but like i say when you have no knowledge of stuff and you get and you let the ones who try and tell you you know the opposite or tell you what they want to tell you that's all you believe you get what i'm saying like this shit was put here before us and it's just how it's how you use it i've seen people use a car to go to work i've also saw online where people use cars and ran motherfuckers over so everything is can be used in a negative and a positive way you get what I'm saying? Everything ain't just also all spookism, this and that. Yes, it is true that some negative shit come from out of that. Yeah, but like I say, man, you got to feel people out, know their aura. You'll know if people doing negative shit because they'll be around negative people doing negative things, getting negative results. You see what I'm saying? So be weary of that. But I'm just telling you the, 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 the whole spookism and the whole thing about Halloween and how they converted people to be Christians like that should tell you something why do you have to convert someone to be a, 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 a certain religion and also other religions in Rome was uh, they, they, they did away with those religions right it wasn't allowed in Rome if it wasn't Christianity it's nothing but you got to understand man how these people took these religions and manipulated the people through religion in order to do the things that they wanted us to do you must realize common sense should tell you god will never grant a world where a group of people can thrive and these group of people can call the shots and tell other people what they can and can't do that shit don't make no sense stop being stupid bro that shit makes no sense and this and you battle with yourself because this is what they told you i understand but your common sense got to kick in at some point. Like, damn, bro, you gonna die. Everybody gonna die. Everybody gonna leave this bitch. What's your like? You don't. You what you got to lose to really try to find out the truth and know the truth. You can look and see what's happening. Our grandma and all that been praying for hundreds of years. We don't need to pray. We need to do. On that note, is it some bad entities and people who practice dark? Yes. Motherfucker, just as there's good, there's bad. Like that's 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 common sense. But when you when you add fear into that, that's when it changes. Cause a lot of y'all just scared as hell. A lot of y'all just fear the unknown. Stop letting Hollywood and all these entertainers and all this shit spook you. Common sense, bro. There's good and there's bad. There's a lot of people that worship bad the dark this world is governed by that bro you got rabbis and shit to tell you who they worship and it ain't the big god so bro you know it is what it is bro and i'm just bringing clarity to it i for one i'm not afraid i for one don't give a fuck what people say about me because i know sometimes people speak from a place of ignorance and they're afraid of the truth a bit rather hear a, a lie than the truth i know this I can tell you the truth, but you don't want to hear that. You want to hear what, what, what sounds good. So I don't intertwine myself with everybody's world. You know what I'm saying? It's all common sense. But anyway, man, hope I ain't spook no damn body. No, I don't worship no bad, no dark side, none of that shit. 
before y'all go to getting on here saying it. No, bro, but y'all get what I'm saying. We just talking and all this stuff, you can look it up yourself. You know what I'm saying? You can look up how Rome forced Christianity on the people and they, they didn't believe in it, the consequences that came behind that, which is crazy. And they kind of force us to, to, today just in different ways. You know what I'm saying? When you go to jail, you, gotta, you, you can read this book. There's a lot of books out there. There's books that cost thousands of dollars that y'all don't know about that has knowledge in it. They're not going to print that up for free for you to have. Oh, no. You can't have this book. <laughs> but then again, you have to understand. I'm going to let y'all go. You don't have to read a book or even side with a group of people that believe this and believe that. God is in your essence. And that's the difference. Back then, they didn't read books and ran around with books yeah they recorded things most of them people couldn't even read they had it in the essence so all you know is treat people as you want to be treated be kind you know these basic rules you don't not have to read a book for someone to tell you how to treat someone good and if you made it this far in the video man thank you man like i say bro i've been born in this world and lied to same as y'all bro ain't no different but i just know Something ain't right, and that's what made me dig deep. And as I dug, it magnified me, or it drew me to the right people with the right information in the right place at the right time, because I understand frequencies, okay? Understand frequencies. This is how this works. You're going to align with the right person when you're on that right channel, okay? Anyway, <sighs> hope y'all ain't celebrating no Halloween, and... Like I say, man, when you good, you good. You can walk light. You got to worry about shit. I'm good. And uh, like I tell you all the time, man, in order for you to be found, you must first be lost. All right? This boy Papa Doug. I'll let y'all on the next one, man. Peace.